slightly different options on its answer, answer phone from normal, but just for today only. You have reached the Russian embassy. Your call is very important to us. To arrange a call from a Russian diplomat to your political opponents, press 1. To use the services of Russian hackers, press 2. To request election interference, press 3 and wait until the next election campaign. It's true, it's real. It is, of course, April Fool's Day, and the ministry's little prank there in reference to allegations of Russian meddling in the U.S. election process. America's major news outlet, though, CNN, was very quick to pick up on the spoof message today. It's an attempt to sort of laugh off the very serious allegations. I've been living here for a few years. I do know the Russians actually have a very wicked sense of humor. I think the problem is some Americans may not take this as being so funny. Seems not. As yet, no evidence has been put forward, of course, to back up the claims of alleged Russian involvement in U.S. politics. For more on the accusations uh, and that ministry prank, let's talk to John Gaunt. I'm sure you'll see the funny side from the UK's referendum party. Hi there, John, in, Bur in Birmingham today, I see. So what's your take on the ministry's little light-hearted answer, answer machine message there? I mean, it wasn't that serious, surely? Well, I didn't realise the Russians had such a good sense of humour. Uh, I actually think it's very, very funny. Uh, and I think um, the po-faced reaction of CNN perhaps explains why their audience figures are slipping so much compared to Fox News. They need to get a life and get out of ours. It's quite simply a spoof. It's quite simply funny. There is a serious message underneath it, though, because... None of these allegations have been investigated correctly or substantiated. So why shouldn't the uh, Russians take the proverbial, have a joke, take the mickey out of the Americans? I think they should. I think we should all lighten up. It's once a year. It's just a bit of fun. Yeah. Um, CNN not seeing the funny side, but it's interesting, isn't it, the stories they choose to uh, cherry-pick there. WikiLeaks yesterday, that big release of more CIA files on the agency disguising itself as foreign hackers. That wasn't mentioned on CNN, apart from its Turkish website. Uh, were those revelations not worth mentioning, somehow less important than this joke today on the foreign ministry's well, answer machine? It just, it just pro... It just kind of proves, doesn't it, uh, the CNN, uh, the Clinton News Network, have got a very clear agenda. That agenda was to get uh, Clinton elected. They failed. So now their agenda is to try and bring down Donald Trump. You know, and there's some serious allegations that Barack Obama could be involved in this as well. So it isn't really a laughing matter. But you're correct, Kevin. I mean, yesterday, big WikiLeaks thing comes out, which basically says they've got a tool which can discuss guys who, who is hacking and can put the blame wherever they want. This is the accusation against the CIA. Now, whether that's true or not, it should have been reported on. Mm. Likewise, if it's important to uh, today report on this little joke by the Russians, mm. which, again, the um, central accusation hasn't been substantiated... Well, they're saying Russia's trying to laugh it off. You see, the critics are saying Russia's trying to laugh... They have an equal merit. Yeah, I mean, you touched on it just now. The critics, though, oh. CNN, saying Russia's trying to laugh off these serious accusations. But exactly, there are accusations at the moment. Where's the proof? I'm sure Russia wouldn't be doing it if proof there's was put accusations. I've, well, I've been laughing them up for weeks and weeks and weeks. Show me the money. Show me the proof. Actually prove that this is ca the case and that this isn't just a narrative that certain news organisations in America and political groups... Mm. And let me remind the viewers, of course, CNN is the so-called news network that gave questions to Hillary Clinton during the debate. So we shouldn't really take them seriously. When it comes to laughing matters, they're now the laughing stock of the news world. So I find it quite ridiculous that they are taking umbrage at this. It was a joke. I think we should laugh at this. I'm not saying, I don't think there's any intent by the Russians to laugh it off. They're actually saying, prove it, aren't they? That's what they have been saying, and they haven't. 
and I think you're so right to pick up on the WikiLeaks yesterday. Why haven't CNN reported on that? Why are they doing selective news gathering? Why are they telling their audience only one side of the story? And this whole mainstream narrative that's happening, it's happening here with the BBC as well, where they're trying to portray Russia as our enemy. I mean, even the British government are involved in that. Several high-profile figures, including the Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson and indeed Theresa May, have said Russia are a bigger threat to us in the West than the Islamic State. Well, when I told people this on my radio show, on Talk To Me Radio, they laughed. They laughed to a man and a woman. They know who the enemy is at the moment. The enemy is the Islamic State. I don't think ordinary Britons see Russians or Russia as the enemy. It's just a narrative that, for some reason, they want to push. And they should stop pushing it because, one, it's a lie, and two, it's dangerous. Most people in Britain want to have relations, they want to see uh, the new president meet your...